Okay, hey guys, we are still in the shits, but uh, I kind of cheated a bit. I got um, this nation to war deck this nation, so hopefully we might just might survive. Uh, but we lost the battle here, and as you see, we don't have the manpower to replenish our forces. So we might be in the biggest shit ever uh, pretty soon. Although they might be... What the... Wow, fuck. Oh, yeah. Take out some other ships. If I lose this province, I'm losing major income, so... I'm just gonna try to negotiate with them. Post peace. They would not accept this offer. I don't want a containment. No. Fuck off. Fuck off. Contain. I'm gonna disline that. Alright, I'm gonna cheat. Give me a sec. Okay, I deleted a few of their armies and uh, basically allowed us to have a chance. I didn't end the war because I cannot, but besides that, which is very interesting. Going to expand some naval bases and shit. You want to contain me? No, I will never surrender to containment. There you go. Taking this area back. There's still migrants here, which is good. Fascism is a bit odd, but they get 2% of the population, so you're going to go up here and end this siege. Do we have any fleets left? They're all fighting down here. They won't be able to win, just make them retreat, fuck. There you go. You can take stuff back. Anyways, they're at war with uh, a few nations right now, so that will give them a bit less of an advantage. They're at war with this guy and this guy, so... Hopefully, uh, this big mega nation. I'm just gonna put the fog of war off again. Uh, this mega nation's getting a big pile of forces down here. And I wonder if it's gonna start moving forces down here soon. Because, yeah, it is moving forces down, so that's good. Might see some interesting battles. While they're fighting their little two-front war. And, uh, I know I won't be able to do anything about them currently. What I'm hoping is I could, uh, move my, uh, my ships around so I could get some troops onto some locations at least. Up here it might be beneficial. Got one steamer there. You can carry one unit, so you can rush. Yay, fish production 150%. Yay. That's really good. Because our main export will is fish, so now our export just doubled. The secondary power is over here and it's warring with this guy. So here there might be some interesting battles going on. Yeah, so there's a coalition force versus uh, the Malayan Empire. So I'm going to see how the Malayan Empire does. They're really big and huge and bulky. But they still might be able to uh, hold them all. Are you going to accept white peace? No. 
Alright. Whoa, what's with the lag? Is there something happening in the background or or what? I'm only getting like 9 X FPS. Give me a sec. Alright. It's fluctuating a lot. Well at least the FPS is. So no. Alright, so I know we need some territories back, but we can't get any territories back currently. Uh, these guys are fully at war, so... They're trying to win this battle, which is unlikely they're gonna win. Alright, so... Uh, these guys are gonna group up together. Form a coalition. A huge force. Uh, do we have uh, all the money invested into the military? Well, as much as we can. And tariffs are on imports, so partially fulfilled. This is weird. Because we don't have the goods needed to do anything right now, so. Now uh, let's just recapture these territories and offer white peace. Their, what is their war exhaustion like? 1% and ours is 3%. We're still good. Alright, so I don't want to auto assign leaders anymore. I want to assign them personally. So the better ones go into better places. This is going to be an interesting uh, fight here. This guy is losing pretty bad. He was kind of in the sphere now like with this guy. So we're going to see what happens. So yeah, there's not many soldiers left to keep fighting for us. So we will have to be very careful. Uh, with our manpower. We occupied this province, but that's not helping one little bit. We needed to form our mega nation, uh, but we won't be able to get it right now. That's a big problem. All these guys over here are under the influence of uh, other powers. This is currently the superpower. It's a super mega ultra power. It has more more people and more industrial capacity and more manpower than any other nation. So if this guy and this guy go to war with each other, it would be extremely interesting. Uh, especially uh, this guy should have had mega military power because they could, at the beginning of the game, they could recruit like 200 units. Are they actually deploying more forces to us? They're actually deploying 14, 14 units to us, yeah. Run away, dock up, I don't care, just dock up. What's with the lag? Jesus Christ. Alright, so what the votes are gonna be like? It's gonna be based on proportional wells. Yeah, let's go wells. What's with the 5% lag? Alright, I'm gonna have to see this uh, through, so we're gonna see what happens. Okay, finally, after video fixing and war ending, we are back to square one. So, we are gonna get all our fleets together and everything, and we're gonna start getting organized for the next phase of expansion and all that bullshit that you people don't really like anyway. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna have some fun. So, you guys are not going to do this. You guys are gonna up, and you guys are going down 35 percent all right so what i'm trying to do is promote more of the rich guys to do stuff to like build factories and things like that so over here we're trying to reinforce all these brigades that are unfortunately kind of exhausted so, uh, yeah, we're going to analytic f philosophy. And, ah, oh, damn, DA, I fucked everything over again. 
Uh, yeah, when you switch nations, it's fucking everything over. So it's going with more business school, so... Yeah, we got everything good in industry, but in the military we've got nothing. Uh, industry is 5% fa faster, culture is 5% faster. But, uh, hmm. Whatever. Let's see what happens. Might switch that over later on. Can I enact woman suffrage? Have invented social silence. Whatever. Alright, so uh, the economy is going strong and the economy is just going to be going stronger with this upgrade. So now we could decrease the poor taxes a bit. To uh, like 40%. This we could decrease it by 5% too. And yeah, these the capitalists, we could just exploit them because honestly, uh, they could, uh, let's go 25%, this is 30%, so we're pretty stable here. Commercial Raider, what's that? Oh yeah, it's this thing. It has a bit more uh, firepower. But in any case, we will have to uh, get things going. So, uh, yeah. So let's take a look around the map. Over here, there is some fighting going on, but not that much. Um, this nation down here is getting totally overrun. Uh, they shouldn't have concentrated their forces on me, honestly. <laughs> because this nation. Uh, Although they were doing extremely well up here, uh, they're not gonna do extremely well down here, it seems. They've got a good military, but. Oh, yeah, they declared peace. They're running at war with Juju Valley, which is these guys. And. I'm going to see. Do they have any military at all left? Or are they still fighting off all the empires? Doesn't really matter. Anyway. Uh. Yeah, so we won't be able to form our own nation right now. I know we're going to get another war of containment very shortly. By the way, I need to just adjust two or three of the settings. Uh, where's the settings? No, it's not these settings. I want to mean the real settings. Message settings. Um, uh, unit, province, diplomacy, combat, other. Uh, when enacting social reforms... When changing ruling parties at the start of the election campaign, when a campaign has finished, when rebel factions enforce its demands on our nation, when rebel enforce the demands, when you have gained an invention. Currently not displayed in the map. It's made pop up and pause the game. Alright, um. Uh, when we have a bankruptcy, when you receive the chat message, Event, province, units, combat, uh, when one of our land units is attacked by an enemy, show message and display pause the game. Alright, so that will be better for us because it's gonna, it's gonna just pause the game, give us that extra second to think about the next move. Uh, over here, this is another uh, productive nation. It's a little island, but it's under the sphere of somebody else. Yay, we got ironclads. So now we could start building our mega navy. So let's see, the this uh, navy requires 32 uh, steamers, so we're gonna build uh, three of these, three of these, three of the, two of these, two of these. We're gonna build three of commerce raiders here. And three commerce raiders here, and uh, that's gonna form a good uh, industrial block for us. All right. So how's the yay? I thought I thought it paused the game. I thought it would pause the game. No, it didn't. All right. That means something fucked up somewhere. It's so like we got 10% more culture research, we'll research uh, more culture techs. I'll keep the military a bit for last, uh, unfortunately. 
Uh, so weighted universal. Um, so uh, more voters. And uh, there you go. We're slowly going towards a democracy here. So now our, our shipyards are going in full swing. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, you ship, you can go over here and pick up this guy and go invade uh, under the influence. This guy's not under the influence, so we could grab this island. But uh, 3,000, 27,000. Alright, there you go. So our steamers could start going and end, try to end the island hopping mega campaign of death by uh, pausing here, declare war, establish protectorate. We're gonna gain more infamy though, that's the problem. Because our infamy is right through the roof. Uh, where's our nation? There. Our infamy is right through the roof. And it's minus 0 0.50 per month. So we could wait it out, but I, I fear we're gonna get outclassed by other nations if we don't keep expanding. And that's my biggest fear. That's why we have to try to keep expanding as much as we possibly can and uh, see what happens. This nation over here and this nation over here are totally overrun by rebels so we could gain control of this entire landmass and that will give us maybe more manpower and more military control. So let's go with a conquest and let's just end this now. Uh, I'm gonna go get my entire regiment over. We should be able to win the sea battle without any uh, problems. Uh, let's go over here, grab our main army, and then grab him and bring him back up. Uh, more commanders. This uh, guy will be... This guy. Yep. Right, go over here. Fleet move out so let's pause it here uh, you guys get off here uh, how come it's costing us so much it's not because of the military but because of other things but okay so we're gonna invade this nation we're gonna conquer this nation too and uh, there you go. Uh, yeah, we lost a lot of troops uh, already to attrition, so we're gonna send our units like all the way up here, all the way here to the capital, all the way here, all the way here, and.